When Vaz Zastero was a young boy, he went for a trek in the great outdoors and found at the end of his journey a new home in a bold land. Uh, I'm from uh, originally born in Czechoslovakia back in uh, 1960, now Czech, the Czech Republic. Um, my father was a, a teacher of architecture and uh, we used to go camping during the summers. And uh, so we went uh, camping to Canada and uh, never came back. He never told us where we were going, because just in case, you know, we got interrogated or something. And uh, I didn't figure it out till I was like 15 that we actually escaped from, from, uh, from the communist uh, regime. Vaz escaped to a life that's been filled with surprises, particularly on the career front. Though he began studying to become an electrical engineer, Vaz knew his heart wasn't in it. He believed his future was in music, playing it and recording it for others. But deep down, that failed to strike a chord. A teacher told me once, to be one of the best in the world, you have to work on something eight hours a day, seven days a week. And I didn't have that passion for my music or the recording engineering part of it. Eventually, he landed a job making precision optics, glass pieces for satellites and the aerospace industry. With crystal clarity, Vaz saw a brilliant future. I started that job and loved it and been doing it for 20 years. And, and I think that was, that was my passion, working with glass. Uh, I could work on it eight hours a day, come home and work on it all night and work on it all weekends. <laughs> the glass is in my veins, it seems. <laughs> now a master optician, Vaz sees not only scientific possibilities in glass, but artistic ones. Flawed pieces are given new luster in Vaz's imagination, polish at his fingertips. I couldn't bear to throw any any optics that that didn't meet spec so I started kind of gathering them up at home you know bringing them home and and then I started making jewelry with them the jewelry took off uh, people just loved them the way they, they they sparkled and shined and I wanted to learn how artists work with glass I know as a as a master optician how op, uh, I work with glass but I know that artists and that work in glass uh, work differently. So I wanted to learn how they do it and combine and kind of create my own little uh, world combining precision optics and art optics. Jewelry opened up a whole new world for Vaz. He journeyed to the studio at Corning New York's Museum of Glass, an internationally renowned teaching facility where he could explore every facet of glass making. I wanted to focus on uh, on working with glass like 12 hours a day for 12 days. It's hard at home to, to do that because there's always, always so many things to do. So I, I wanted to kind of get a series of works together and I was hoping that uh, going to school will help me create these works. Vaz has created several breathtaking cold glass sculptures, each involving hundreds of steps endless hours of grinding and polishing, each taking three months to a year to complete. This is one of my largest cold glass sculptures. It started off with lead crystal, laminated with other lead crystal in between dichroic coated glass and it was built from the center out laminating cutting grinding polishing until I had a cube about four and a half inches and then I laminated the cube with even more lead crystal to create this 30 pound lead crystal sculpture the egg it's layered uh, lead crystal with uh, different colors of um, laminate uh, in between each layer of clear lead crystal and 
it almost looks like it's colored glass, but it, it changes colors uh, as, as you move around. It is all uh, solid lead crystal though. So impressed by Vaz's talents, the museum asked the student to become a teacher for one session, showing others how to take glass to places it's never been before. There's this process in precision optics called optical contacting where I am able to take two pieces of glass and fuse them at room temperature without glue and no heat. So I gave a, a demonstration on, uh, on how I do it and, and I, it just, I had a lot of people come to it and all of a sudden this whole buzz around Corning started where this magician is putting glass together with no glue and no heat and it's just, <laughs> it like snowballed, like it went crazy. People still didn't believe it. They, oh, it's just smoke and mirrors. She's not really doing it, you know. <laughs> but uh, the people that were there and saw it, they believed because I did it and then passed it around, did it right in front of their eyes. And the ultimate honor for Vaz, an invitation to submit a design of his choice to the renowned Steuben Glass Works. If accepted, it will go into production, be featured in a catalog where Vaz will be noted as the designer. Steuben Glass is like huge. It's, it's been around for like 100 years. It's, it's on, in New York. It's all over the world. It's really an honor and uh, I hope I can come up with a design that uh, they will uh, produce. It seems Vaz has a fascination for all things shiny and bright, not just glass. Restoring classic Porsche 911s puts a sparkle in his eye too. It was while working in a body shop that Vaz became enamored with the gleam of automobile paint on metal. It led to an artistic exploration that continues today. I fell in love with high gloss enamel and uh, I worked at a fix it yourself garage and I used to mix the, the paint for the people renting the spray booths to pay, paint their cars. And if there was any left over, I was supposed to dump it into this big bucket and I never uh, dumped any. So I started bringing it home. And once I had like three or four different colors, I, I, I started experimenting. I started on wood and this, this painting here is actually done on, on, on wood and it's the first painting I did. And uh, didn't quite like the effect because the wood kind of absor absorbed the paint. And uh, so I tried it on metal and loved the effect and been painting on metal ever since. Vaz admires and is profoundly influenced by his father, an architect and an artist who fashions these creative imaginings. Vaz's paintings and sculptures are fueled by his family's passion for design, art and innovation. Without even knowing it, some of my father's work is coming out in my work. Perhaps Vaz's greatest creative discovery is the light inside himself. Like his glass, it shines brighter and brighter with every turn. His future is much like the paint he applies to metal. He's not always in control or sure where it will end up, but the final result is both exhilarating and satisfying. I think it's definitely what I'll be doing for the rest of my life. So it's, it's nice to find that at, you know, at, at 40 years old, 40 plus now, but it's kind of funny. It could take, take a lifetime to figure out what, what you want to do with your life. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I've found it at 40.